I am Krista Miller, and I'm so happy that you all are joining with me today. Um, this is my home studio. It's not that impressive, um, <laughs> um, but it's my home, and it's my sacred space, and I love it so much. Um, and today is day four um, of kind of joining us in the different wings of the Arts Foundation of St. Andrew, um, and we are so happy to be able to do this and just come to you live in this special way um, and just sharing the arts with all of you um, and just this time of and being at home and um, and uh, yeah this is just it's just really special um, and the arts are just a special um, hold a special place in my heart um, it's something that um, I've come to love over the years um, and uh, it's something that has been a part of my life for a really long time um, through music, um, through painting, um, it's kind of just made its way um, in so many areas of my life. Um, and it's been a joy to be able to share that um, with people. Um, and yeah, so today I'm actually going to be live painting um, for you and kind of sharing with you a little bit of my process. Um, and actually the canvas behind me is um, one that I am going to be redoing. It was something else and I decided that um, I just wanted to rework it. Um, that's kind of what happens um, when you're at home for a while and <laughs> you, you kind of sit in your studio and you start looking at things and um, you're just like, yeah, I, I think I want to redo that. Um, but I, while I'm in my studio, um, most people don't get to come in here uh, and so I thought I would kind of show you around a little bit. So um, I'm gonna pick this up and kind of show you my studio um, a little bit. Let's see, I'm gonna turn this around real quick. So being at home, I actually don't have doors on my studio right now. So if you might hear my children since we're at home. <laughs> um, but these are a few pieces that I have on my wall. Um, I have, uh, these actually are pieces that have been shown um, in a few galleries and homes here in Dallas. Um, these uh, I are a part of a collection. You can kind of see the similarities in these. Um, lots of texture, um, lots of similarities in color. Um, and then over here, um, I have one that recently just got done. Um, that one I believe has been at St. Andrew before. Um, I have a big lighting rig here, thanks to my husband. <laughs> um, this one is a most recent piece that I have. It's called Bliss. Um, that one got done a couple of months ago. Uh, lots of gold leaf, lots of texture. Um, I really love the neutrals in this one. Um, it's currently one of my favorites. Uh, and then if you go over here, we'll go kind of back behind here. Um, over here, I have another recent piece that just got done. Um, again, that one has quite a bit of texture, lots of color. Um, this one actually might be purchased already, not sure, um, but uh, silver leaf, lots of blues, some uh, beiges in that one. I have a big canvas back there that's going to get worked on at some point uh, when I find some time between uh, now homeschooling my kids. <laughs> Um, and then I have a wall of several pieces that are back here um, uh, behind all of our video equipment. If you've been watching St. Andrew uh, live on Sundays, this is gear that we film with and microphones and everything. So, um, but beyond that is my wall of some larger pieces that I have back that way. And all of those are um, ones that I take to shows and um, that I do around DFW and um, a couple of those have been at a few exhibits, but um, I think one or two of them. I also have another piece that's back here, um, kind of in the corner. That one is Ode to Joy, um, and that one's going to be actually be a part of a series that I'm probably going to be doing um, here pretty soon. Um, that one has lots of texture, mixed media. Um, there's a couple of paper uh, little pieces that I've, I've put in there and sprinkled in there. Um, but that one was a lot of fun to do. Uh, lots of layers on that one. Um, I tend to do lots of layers in my work. Um, I, I really love and enjoy throwing lots of different stuff in my work. Um, so, yeah. Um, so with this one, 
um, like Bliss that was back here that I pointed to a little bit earlier that I just got done with a couple of months ago. Um, this one's going to be kind of similar to uh, Bliss. Um, it's going to have several layers starting. So when I start my pieces, um, I prep them normally with a gesso um, and go over it a few times just to get that background filled uh, a little bit. Um, I also paint my sides and my edges. So on this, if I take it off here and turn it, you can see that I've already prepped the sides. Um, I like to normally prep my sides uh, beforehand. Um, some artists do it after. Um, my preference is just to do it before. Um, and then if I tend to go over the sides with any paint, I'll just go back and just do touch-ups. Um, and then um, for uh, this part here, it's pretty smooth, um, but it's gonna get all painted over. Um, sometimes I'll use some texture and put some texture on here um, beforehand, sometimes I won't. Um, it just kind of depends on where I'm going with the piece. Um, so this one, because it was a previous piece that I'm kind of going over, it did already previously have some texture on it, um, but that's fine. I took, basically took some sandpaper um, and kind of sanded this down a bit. And so it's a little smooth, um, but with the layers that I'm gonna be putting on it, um, it's not, you won't even know that it was there. Um, so yeah, so we should be good to go. Um, uh, let's see. I think I am, I might water this down a bit. So I have a spray bottle that I use uh, sometimes um, and I'll like pre-wet the canvas um, before I start painting. And uh, let's see, yeah, I might, I might pre-wet this just a little bit. I use a palette knife um, most of the time. Uh, I do have brushes that I use. I tend to use a lot of larger brushes when I paint just because most of my canvases are larger. Um, and let's see, I can actually show you. So I use, so th this is one of my larger brushes that I use. Um, this is another one. Um, let's see. But I also use like smaller brushes like this if I wanna do like some details. Um, if I do some like line drawings, anything like that. Um, just layers and whatnot. Um, but most of the time, the majority of the time, I'm using palette knives like this. Um, this is one of my go-to, so I use this a lot. Um, this one and also, let's see, this one here, you can tell like this one's gotten like a lot of use. <laughs> um, I use this one quite a bit. Um, so yeah, oh, Meredith, I see you. Yes, Subarus, yes, I look, Subaru fan club, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so as far as paints are concerned, um, I am a Liquitex fan. Um, I use a lot of Liquitex paints. Um, Golden is great. Um, honestly, I'm all about the pigmentation. Um, I'm all about the color and the quality of color. Um, you know, when it comes to texture, I can always manipulate texture um, with add-ins and mediums and stuff like that. So, yeah, so when it comes to just quality of paints, I'm all about the quality um, as far as pigmentation. Um, but uh, you can really just use anything. Um, but I want something that's lasting, especially when it comes to light um, being on the painting. Um, and so that really, uh, makes a difference depending on where your painting is in your home. Um, if you're going to have light streaming onto it, you want to make sure that the pigmentation is going to be a good quality um, in your paint, especially whatever you're sealing your painting with. Um, you want to make sure that it's sealed properly um, so that it's going to be a lasting painting. Um, so that's really important to me um, when something's being hung in a house, um, that it's great quality um, paints. And so uh, so what I'm going to be using today is Liquitex, um, primarily, uh, and I'm actually going to be using some colors that I don't normally use. So normally when you see a lot of my work, I use a lot of neutrals, I use a lot of blues, um, 
And today, uh, I was actually kind of going through a palette um, that I've been really interested in, and I've decided to use um, more of an Autry yellow, um, some crimson, um, some more of like a hunter greens. Um, I am gonna throw in some beige and some white just to give some color, some like lighter tones in there as well. Um, but I'm really gonna be just doing a base today just so you can kind of see where I get started from and just layering. Um, I do a lot of layers on my paintings. Um, so I'm gonna be just layering on uh, today with palette knife um, in some areas, trying to get just a really good base and a really good texture started. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that now. Um, and I'll try and look to see if there's any questions. Um, I know Jonathan's out there kind of helping me, so. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, I'll try and answer them as I go, as I, as I see them. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and, and get started and just kind of let you guys see um, what I do here. And uh, yeah, should be fun. So I use different palettes um, for my paintings. Um, this one is like a, so this is like a glass palette. Um, so sometimes I'll squirt uh, paint on here. Sometimes I squirt it straight on the canvas. Um, this one's really nice because if you squirt it on here, it's a really easy cleanup. Um, you can just get, you just like a, you know, scraper. Um, you squirt water on this and you just scrape it and paint just comes right off, which is really handy. So right now I'm really just laying on a base um, and I'm going to do, I want a green base um, and I want it to be a mixture of dark green, light green and a beige. Um, so that's what I'm going to be kind of layering on right now. And this will evolve as I go. phones and put on your iPads and put on your computers that kind of help you pre-plan your paintings. Um, and so those are really handy. One of my favorites is called Art Set and I actually just found it. Um, it's a really handy tool. A lot of um, your uh, tools on there and a lot of the paints on there are very similar to the real thing and so it allows you to really see what your painting is going to possibly look at, look like before you actually do it. Um, and so sometimes I'll go on there and try and plan a painting out before I actually do it. Um, and so that kind of helps. And sometimes I'll just go in and, and just start painting um, and see what happens. But it's, it's really nice to have a plan sometimes. It's also really nice to not 
and just kind of see what happens on the canvas. Sometimes I work really slow. Um, kind of just depends on the painting that I'm doing. Um, being a uh, an artist who identifies as a um, an expressionist, um, an abstract expressionist, I tend to work from my gut um, and do what feels good in the moment. Um, do what feels right. Um, I like to, a lot, a lot of the time I say I, I work for my bones. Um, and I like to just do soul work. Um, a lot of, I, I've done some classes um, and I've taught some students and uh, I like to tell them, you know, what, what are your bones saying? Um, put that Put that on paper. Put what your bones are saying on paper. Um, speak from your soul, because um, that is that. That's what's gonna actually come out on the canvas and be your true self. Um, and that's just gonna be the most beautiful um, piece of work. Um, and that's what I try and do. Be true to in all of my art. Um,
So you start adding the other colors and it really starts to make a difference just in the base layers. Um, even though this is going to be my base, just adding those little colors in really starts to make a difference. Um, it just starts to bring things to life so much more. And I can actually start to see in my head where this painting is going to start going. Um, I start to kind of form ideas just in the future what my future layers are going to look like. Um, I can already tell that uh, I'm going to have gold leaf on this um, probably in the end. Um, I normally try and do like a silver or gold leaf uh, texture. This one might. Uh, I might have, might add some paper in this one possibly. I'm thinking that might be a layer. I have um, some local handmade paper um, that I've used actually in Ode to Joy. Um, that I showed uh, before I started. Um, that one has some local handmade paper um, from a local store here. And it just gives that little bit of texture to the piece. Obviously, because of my easel, I don't quite get all the way down, um, and I'll actually get down there. The farther that I start to work down, I eventually will pick up the piece and, and start working in that area. Um, but it's fine for now. Um, I'll end up turning the piece over um, once I get a little farther along and uh, start working it the other way. Um, it's good to actually turn your piece and work um, in different directions. So it gives you a different perspective um, on the art. And also for hanging purposes too, because I may not even have the piece hanging this way. Um, I'll start a piece this particular direction, but it actually might end up being um, hanging vertical, um, or it may end up actually being the whole other way around, so I just, I, I don't know until um, the piece is actually done. It looks, uh, this probably looks crazy, but I'm, <laughs> I'm just squirting kind of white everywhere right now um, just because I want to add in um, some more lightness to it. I feel like there's too much green, um, so I am just kind of squirting this all over. Again, if you're kind of joining in right now, um, I'm adding in a base layer uh, to this brand new piece that I'm starting. I'm going to kind of come on this side. Um, so this is all just a base layer um, to this new piece. Just a little bit too green heavy now that I'm kind of standing back and looking at it, which is completely fine because it's, again, just a base layer. I like where it's going. Um, Kind of reminds me of it's very secret gardeny. Um, it has a very secret garden feel, especially I have 
now I'm kind of thinking about the other colors that I'm kind of wanting to add to it. I feel it's going to be a very enchanted almost kind of piece. Um, kind of has an enchantment feeling about it. Um, There are times too I don't actually work uh, upright this way. Um, I can turn my easel um, towards actually flat and I'll actually work on a painting from above. Um, and it just kind of gives a new perspective to the piece. It also allows me uh, to do a few different things working from above um, that way. I can pour um, paint on instead of squirting it on the canvas, um, which is just gives a, gives a different feel uh, to the piece. Uh, texture tends to be a little bit different. Um, the way that my palette knife kind of moves across the piece is a little bit different. You can kind of, I don't know if you can tell on there, but um, on here, texture is kind of starting to kind of starting to add up a little bit now. Um, it probably doesn't translate well on the camera, but I can already start to see the texture building up. So I use acrylic paints. Um, a lot of people ask me, why don't I use oils? Um, I just like acrylic. Um, I've always been a fan of acrylic paint. Um, I feel like you can manipulate it really well. Um, I like the paint because it dries a little bit faster. Um, oil just takes a really long time to dry and I don't have the patience. <laughs> um, I know that there are additives you can use um, for oils and I, I mean, I have friends that um, are, are other artists that paint with oils and I mean their work is beautiful and uh, uh, one in particular, uh, Melissa Ellis, she's an artist in Dallas, um, her work is absolutely beautiful. She's a lovely, lovely, amazing painter. Um, the texture of her work is amazing. If you get a chance, please look her up. She's wonderful. Um, and. Uh, she uses oils and, I mean, just the drying time on some of her pieces are just months long. Um, I just, I don't have the patience for that, <laughs> but power to her, she's amazing. Um, but yeah, I just, I love acrylics. I, I think they're so much fun to work with. Um, and uh, yeah, I just, I, I think they're, they're just a blast, so. So this is starting to, starting to shape up. I'm really, I love the way that this is kind of starting to kind of take its form. Um, I can kind of really start to see more depth happening, which I like. It's definitely going my vibe and my direction, even though it's colors that I don't normally use. Um, let me see if you can, or if you can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see that side. I have some variations of salmon. It's almost like a salmon color and a pink um, color that I'm going to be using um, that are going to go into it, which are also not colors that I tend to use. Um, I think quarantine has got me branching out in the <laughs> colors. <laughs> I'm just like, hmm, let's see what happens when I do this. Um, that was over here on this side um, that you could kind of see from a previous piece that I had 
um, and I sanded it down. And now, um, because of what I've done so far and because of the, of the paint that I've used, the texture um, has actually blended in um, with the rest of the piece. So you can't even tell um, that there was actually something there before. Um, and I actually like what it's actually done because you can actually, there's some, there's some ridges in here um, that look really cool. Um, and it really, it works really well. Um, works really well with, with kind of what's happening. I think I need some more beige for sure over here. I definitely need more something here. definitely probably do a few more layers probably two ish more layers um, with the green some more white um, let's see. probably some green here Sometimes I do this and it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Let's <laughs> we'll just we'll roll it in and see what happens. tube um, and because of just how much layering I'm doing right now it's pretty thick and it's gonna need some drying time before I can do another couple of layers especially all this section down here which is gonna get all painted over um, and then down here which is all brand new and this over here as well um, and all this up here is still pretty wet. Before I can do any more layers on it. Um, once I do a few more layers, then I will come back over it. Um, and I will start adding, I'll add some more white um, to it. Uh, and then I will actually start adding in some more vibrant colors over this 
but I'll do it in more strategic places <clears throat> to give it the depth that I really like to bring to my pieces. Um, and then I'll start getting a lot more detailed with it. Um, and I'll start putting in a lot more of my, kind of what I, my little things as far as, maybe like what I talked about, maybe putting in some paper, um, more of the handmade paper. Um, putting in, I have little like lines that I like to do, um, different little details that I like to make with my palette knife. Um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I will come back after that's dry. Um, and then I will probably maybe do some, um, I might not do any splatters on this one. I, I, I think this one, like I said, it's probably gonna be more like the bliss painting that I have back that way um but yeah this definitely will be a little bit lighter so it won't be more green heavy it won't have as much green in the background um you'll be able to just see tastes of it um but it will definitely have gold leaf for sure um and uh yeah so but again this is just this is just background um it'll be this painting will be worked on for a while um i imagine uh This will probably be maybe about a week, maybe a week or two before I'm actually done with it. It could be longer. Sometimes I say I'm done, you know, and then and then it sits for a little while and I come back and look at it and put touches on it and sometimes it's a month before I'm done with it. So, <laughs> so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll let this dry and we'll, uh, See what happens and um maybe jonathan and i will have a time where i'll come back on and you'll see some progress and we'll just go from there but thanks for joining me in my home studio today um i'm so uh i'm so happy that we get to have a uh, church that loves the arts um i'm so happy that i get to be with you all and participate um, and something like this. Um, this is, it brings joy to me. I hope it brings joy to you. Um, and this week has just been amazing. Um, and I love all of you. Um, thanks for joining me. And we have one more day. Um, arts education uh, is tomorrow. So I hope that you all join Jonathan tomorrow uh, as he gives us an amazing demonstration of our beautiful organ in the sanctuary. So thank you so much, and I hope that you guys join us tomorrow. So, bye.